We are very familiar with squaring of a binomial. But have you ever asked your algebra teacher about the use of this? You would know now through this video. But before we discuss one of its applications, let's review first on how to square a binomial. It was said that when you square a binomial, you may do the 1 to 1 pattern, which is based from Pascal's triangle, or you may do this algorithm knowing that x is the first term. We just have to square that first term plus twice the product of the first and second terms plus the square of the last term. For an example, let's have the square of 3x plus 2y. Knowing that the 3x here is the first term and 2y is the second term, applying this algorithm will have the square of the first term, which is 3x, plus twice the product of the first term, which is 3x, and the second term, which is 2y. And lastly, we are to add the square of the last term, which is 2y. There you go! Now review how we apply the algorithm before we simplify these expressions. All right, now let's simplify. The square of 3x would now become 9x squared plus 2 times the product of 3x and 2y, which is 6xy, plus the square of 2y, which is 4y squared. Now, we just have to simplify the middlemost term. So we'll have 9x squared plus 12xy plus 4y squared. And there you go! Let's have another example. What if we are to square 4x minus 5y? So we have to square the first term. So we'll have the square of 4x here, considering that 4x is our first term, plus twice the product of the first and last terms. First term would be 4x. Second term, or the last term, which is negative 5y. Plus, we are to square the last term. So we have to square the negative 5y. Let us now simplify these expressions. The square of 4x would be 16x squared plus 2 times the product of 4x and negative 5y which is negative 20xy plus the square of negative 5y which is 25y squared. And lastly, simplifying the middlemost term will have 16x squared minus 40xy plus 25y squared. There you go! Finally, we can now discuss one of its applications. What if we are to square 15? Knowing that 15 square is the same thing as the square of 10 plus 5, we can now consider 10 to be the first term and 5 to be our last term. Applying the algorithm, we'll now have the square of 10, which is our first term, so we'll have 10 squared plus twice the product of the first and last term, so we'll have 2 times 10 and 5 plus square the last term, which is 5 squared.
Now let's simplify. The square of 10 would now become 100 plus 2 times the product of 10 and 5 which would become 2 times 50 plus the square of 5 which is 25. Simplifying the middlemost, we'll now have 100 plus another 100 plus 25, which would now become 225. There we go! Or, for those who prefer mental math, let's have 15 squared to be yes, the same thing as 10 plus 5 squared. Now with this, Let's apply the algorithm in squaring a binomial. We have to square the first term. Our first term here is 10, and we are to square that. So that gives us 100. Plus, we are to double the product of the first and second. So 5 times 10 is 50. Double it, twice it. That gives us another 100. Lastly, square the last term. Square of 5 is 25. That gives us 225. Let's have another example. If we have here 13 squared, knowing that 13 squared is the same thing as 10 plus 3 to be squared, first we are to square the first term. 10 squared is 100 plus... We are to double the product of 3 and 10. So 3 times 10 is 30 times 2. That would be 60. Lastly, we are to add the square of the last term. Square of the last term, that's 3 squared. That gives us 9. And so the answer would be 169. How about the square of 23 this time? Knowing that 23 squared is the same thing as 20 plus 3 to be squared, First term is 20, we are to square that, that's 400, plus we are to double the product of 20 and 3. 20 times 3 would be 60, times 2 would be 120. And lastly, we are to square the last, square of 3 would be 9. So the answer would be 529.